All right, Bolo Buddies, I believe this is the one you've been waiting for. I am bringing all of this vintage. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Lingerie to whatnot. We're going to look at some of the brands. Um, there's a lot of brawls and stuff. I'm not really sure on these, but I know that uh, the slips and the lingerie like this, the full body slips are really collectible and that people love them. So I've got just tons and tons and tons. And I'm going to be auctioning these off on my whatnot show. Um, I will link it down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys there. If you are not on whatnot, what it is, it is a platform. And after I tell you what this is, we're going to go through some of the brands. Um, it's a platform for resellers to go on and sell their stuff auction style. And basically, you'll come in and you will bid on the items that I am presenting. Now, I picked these all up at an estate sale clean out. Um, just a massive, amazing, wonderful find. They have all been ran through the laundry with a, um, oh, what do you call it? Unscented detergent. So everything is clean, but may still have... I mean, it's just, I used unscented laundry detergent. So there is still kind of maybe that scent uh, from storage. Now, some of the items do have yellowing. I did not do any type of treatment to these. I do not know how to do that stuff. Uh, some of these are TLC. Some of these are good to go. That is why I'm going to bring them to whatnot. And I'm going to show you each piece individually. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to tell you the brand. I'm going to tell you the size. And we're going to go from there. Um... I, I don't know a ton about vintage lingerie. I know that some Vanity Fair can go for crazy money. So if you are a reseller, look up Vanity Fair lingerie. Now, again, a lot of this is going to need soaked and treated. And I don't know how to do that stuff. I don't want to do that stuff. I am... I was a full-time uh, clothing reseller, but I did retail arbitrage. I bought new clothes and then I switched to hard goods and I no longer want to take measurements. I don't want to do that stuff. I don't want to do clothing. So whatnot seems like the most logical, smartest <laughs> plan for me. And that's what I'm going to do. I believe this one right here is Vanity Fair. It's got the lace uh, down the bottom does have some slight yellowing at the top. Not sure if that will come out or not. Let me see if I can look at the tag in here. Um, I mean, I would say it has some slight yellowing. It's not too bad. Overall, this one looks pretty good. But look at the beautiful lace. The lace trim. Just the stunning, stunning detail. Let me see. I'm trying to feel for a tag here. I think this one has a tag. Let's take it off here and look. All right. So again, my whatnot link would be down below. If you've not been on whatnot before, you can click on that link and you'll get $15 to shop. Um, and if you want to sell on whatnot, I'll put a separate link down there. And if you click on that link, it will tell you, um, it will let them know that I referred you and you may get accepted to sell on whatnot quicker. So definitely check out that link also. I've had a couple people tell me they've used it and got accepted right away. And I know the one does not have a social media following, so you do not have to have a social media following to sell on whatnot, but just like any other platform, you are going to have to build it up. This one, yes, is Vanity Fair made in the USA. Um, it's a all nylon size 36. So that one will definitely be coming again. I feel like there's a little slight yellowing there, maybe overall. I don't know. I, again, this is why I'm bringing it to whatnot. I'll let you guys actually see the items. This brand, oh my goodness, I have no idea what this says. Butch Mania, maybe? Size 36. Um, I, I don't know. This one is just a slip, but it's got this cute little detail on the bottom. Very, very cute. And I'm not going to show you everything. This one has some yellowing. Again, got the really pretty uh, sheer lace on the top. 
And I know people are like, you need to soak those in this and you need to soak it in that and it'll get rid of that. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. This one's Vanity Fair, also size 36. Uh, this one looks really similar to the one hanging up. But again, especially when you put it down like that, you can see that it is probably not as white as it should be, especially when you look at it next to this. But that's okay, you know, that's, it is what it is. A lot of people just wear them under things. They like the feel of the, the nylon and they like the vintage look and this is what i have for you look at this beautiful one. Oh my gosh it's so pretty um it's got the little uh are those roses details around the bottom just stunning um maybe some slight yellowing on that one also but it's blue so it's harder to see um and again when i do the auction i will look at everything better um, and we'll go over it more thoroughly Henson and Knicker, Nick, Kicker Nick, size, does that say 34, 38? I'm not really sure. Hard to tell, but this one is 100% nylon. Also, another really nice piece. Now, this one is black, so there's not going to be any yellowing on the black one. I thought I had another bag, and I might. Um, I got so much vintage uh, lingerie from this estate. This one is Van, I don't know, Rowty, R-A-A-L-T-E or R-O-A-L-T-E, Antron Nylon um, 36S. So another just a piece that has the lace around the bottom as well. Uh, let's see, this is a slip. It is Bar Barbazon. It kind of looks like it's yellowing also, or maybe that's the color it's supposed to be. But it's got this detail around the bottom. I mean, just beautiful stuff here. This one's pink. It's got the trim around the bottom. And I don't know if it has a tag inside or not. Yeah, here we go. This one is um, Luxit Lights? Luxite? Luxite? I don't know nylon medium that's a slip this one looks not too bad i don't see a whole lot of yellowing let's see what brand it is it's got the thicker straps at the top um lady lynn tailored by lady lynn um does that ring a bell to anybody i don't know that's what it is this one definitely has some yellowing, so I don't know if you can fix that or not. Um, that one's in pretty bad condition, but let's see what it says here. This one is Her Majesty, size 8, made in the USA. So not a super popular brand that I know of. Look at this one. This one is stunning. I mean, they're just so pretty. It's got the lace detail around the bottom. Sorry, had to focus the camera in there. This one also, I feel like, has some yellowing. I hope it's showing up in the, the photo. This one is made by Vanity Fair, and it's a size 40. So um, I think that would be considered plus size. Not 100% sure. When it comes to lingerie, I know that um, vintage items do run smaller. But look how pretty the top is. It's so pretty. All right, let's look over here. Some more, some other stuff. Um, these are all like brawls and corsets and uh, different things like that. I'm not going to go into all of those. Um, conditions, again, do vary. This one is a Vanity Fair 38L. It's got the lace on the top. And lace on the bottom so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the discoloring is that a huge deal it can it be fixed do you not want to tell me I'm not gonna fix it regardless I am just not doing it um, I don't have the time or the patience this one is Vanity Fair also made in the USA small 22 inch uh, this is a slip it's got a little bit of a lace detail on the bottom now this one almost looks like it's supposed to be yellow, but I am really not 100% sure. <laughs> I think it is, but who knows? Let's see. 
This one is a Varsetti, maybe Junior. So Varsetti Junior. This one is, it looks like maybe another Vanity Fair. Um, yeah, Vanity Fair. Very similar to kind of that one hanging, but maybe a different shape on the top. Again, slight yellowing. This is very similar to that other one. And this one is probably gonna be Vanity Fair as well, but I, the tag is pretty faded on this one. And it's got, yeah, it's Vanity Fair, but something's written on it. And at the show, I will be more detailed. I don't know how many of these I should show you. If I should just stop the video and uh, just say, see you at my whatnot. I don't see a tag in that one. So that one might've been pulled out, but um, again, it feels like the same nylon. Look at the beautiful, uh, and I'll have a tripod up and I'll be showing these full length. I'll be holding them up. So you'll be able to see better um, the condition and stuff like that. This is just for this video. I just want to give you guys an idea. Another Vanity Fair. This one's kind of a pinky peach color. Um, got this cute little thing. This one has stains on it. So this one's in pretty bad shape. I don't know if you can get that out. I don't know if you can dye these, you know, because then you're still going to have the nice material, but maybe you can uh, dye it uh, with the color, you know. This one is... Uh, what is this? What is this? I don't know. Figure light, size 40, looks like. This one, the tag is cut, so I have no idea. And you guys that do vintage lingerie, you're going to know. Probably be looking at some of this, what they are. I don't see a tag in that one, but it could be buried on the side. This one's made in the USA, but it seems like a newer tag, but maybe not. I don't see any other tag on that. So we've got some slips. Look at the detail on this. How pretty is that? Let's see. Uh, don't see a tag. Not sure on that one. This one's just JCPenney. Probably vintage, but not super, super old. Uh, this is a, I think, Vanity Fair. No, I'm sorry. Barsetti division of musking wear, mussing wear. You guys can tell, I just don't know a whole lot about this stuff. 36, pretty. This is like a cami, call it a cami. Nylon, 100% nylon made in the USA. It's just made by Sears. This one is, looks like union made. I think that's a union made symbol. I can't read what it says, but it's another uh, cami. So more uh, slips, camis. Oh, look at this slip. This goes down the side of it. How fancy is that? What's that one? It may not tell me, it may be too faded. Yeah, I can't tell what it says. So I don't know what that one's made by. This one's kind of a blue color. It looks like it's another slip. This is a, a full on, um, oh, a slip, full body slip, I guess you would call it. This one's a cami also. And that one is another Varset, Hollywood Varset. Um, don't know tag is completely faded so this one is really really yellowing I mean just awful look how bad it is don't know if you guys can do anything with that this one's in bad condition also so the conditions do vary as stated um, slip full body another slip another full body and look at this Lang of Salzburg, and it's got the spell out on it. How cool is that? These vintage pajamas. So I'm going to bring those also. So that is a sneak peek. I will again, give better shots as we go through everything during the show. But, um, yeah, 
that's what I'm bringing, vintage lingerie. So the link is down below, so click on that and come on over and join me.